Look, look. I'm a rap to the old man, me and hoes don't hold hands, hand in my pants in the mouth of my dick when I slow dance and I blow bands, oh man, oh man, oh man, give, give M's to my fam, winning against me, you have no chance, I advance in the smoke plants, enhance my stance, step on your whole colony like some ants, look, ho, oh, I'm the champ in my flow, trippy like a lava lamp, kush gang, the camp, I'm more dope. What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you this really cool crop music style transition and also video effect in Vegas Pro 16. You can tell from the way I announced that, I still don't know what to call this video. Anyway, all it will consist of is using the pan and crop and also some built-in features with Vegas Pro 16. It's really simple to do. If you're not on Vegas Pro 16, you can use this on older versions of Vegas as well. Now also head over to the description because I will be providing overlay pack if you haven't already used overlays or you don't know what they are, I'll also put another video in the description showing you how to use them. Here we are in Vegas Pro 16. I'm using the exact same song I used at the intro, except this is completely raw. We're going to be recreating what I've already shown you. Now, the first thing I recommend you do, of course, you have to have good music in order to do this effect. And then what we're going to be doing is timing the beats. So all we're going to do is play through. <laughs> So obviously when the two kicks and the bass hits in at the start, I'm going to miss that part out. And then when the bass kicks in again, that's when we're going to be laying down markers. So to do that, press M on your keyboard to lay down the markers. Now, I've set up my markers, so the markers are on each time the bass kicks in. The next step you're going to be doing is working with the top clip. So you notice I've got two clips here, two different clips, and all we're going to be doing is pressing S on our keyboard. Then you're going to be selecting the pan crop tool. Now, if you have a second monitor, I do advise to put it on a second monitor, so then you can um, see your screen, and of course you can see the pan crop really big as well. However, for the tutorial, I'm going to show it you like this. So first thing, have a scene cursor checked and what you want to do is have lock aspect ratio and also size about center checked and simply do a little zoom out like this. You're then going to press X. You're going to come to the next marker you've done. Press S on your keyboard to split it. You're going to come back to the pan and crop and you're simply going to drag this out a little bit more again. Obviously, it'll make it smaller and you're going to do the exact same steps. So again, on the next one. Now for this next one, it's completely up to you if you want to make it smaller. My opinion, just drag it off so it goes off screen at this point and then it will make the transition. So if we play this through, this is now what we've currently just created. Just like that. So when the bass kicks in, it goes off screen. And each time the bass kicks, it goes smaller and smaller until it goes off. So another trick I done, which may not have been too obvious, I actually played around with black and white on both videos. So starting with the first clip on the first track, I drag on the black and white onto this part where the bass starts. I've already split it. And all you're gonna do is toggle the animation. And then right at the end on your last uh, clip, you're gonna put the blend mode to zero. So that means it will come into color as this is slamming down. Now, if you haven't guessed, we're gonna be doing the exact opposite for these clips, which means they're gonna start in color and they're gonna to go to black and white. Now to do this, because we've already split the clips, we're gonna make it easier for ourselves. And all we're gonna be first doing, because this clip over here, we don't need on the first track, press delete. And then with this clip, just drag it to that track. Now with the default black and white, drag and drop it onto the video track itself over here. Notice it's now all gone black and white. That's what we wanted, but we're gonna turn this off at zero. We're then gonna toggle the animation by selecting this clock. Now, right at the beginning here, what you wanna do is select add a keyframe. So you can see it will stay at zero. Then at the very last keyframe, so just click to the end over here, just put that blend mode all the way up. Now for X out of it, this is now what we've got. Now it is a very, very subtle um, difference. However, 
it's just a little uh, addition you can add just to make the effect look a little bit more better. So for those that don't understand, the bottom track as we're going across, it is changing from black and white into color. And the top track is going from color to black and white. And then we switch scene, just like that. So playing it through one more time. Just like that. So now I'll be showing you the other thing I'd done, which was basically having the video pop in and out. So all you need to do for this is right click and insert a new video track. And this is again where we need to do the markers. So find the part where you want this to take place. Okay, so I have my markers laid out and we're going to be working with the exact same clip we're doing the effects with. So to do that, press S on your keyboard right where your first marker starts. Press U just to separate from the audio if there is audio connected to it. Press Ctrl C and Ctrl V to the track above. So now they're going to be in sync, as you'll see. Starting from the first clip, of course, all we're going to do is come to the pan crop. And we're just going to size it down. So you can see straight away does give it some pretty cool effect here. So they are synced. So if I play it through just quickly, you can see it does that little cool effect. Now the reason I put the marker is because I'm going to have it pop up. So at this next marker here, I'm going to press S so it will go off here. Now bear in mind, you don't want to drag it across or you don't want to delete it because this is in sync at the moment. Just dr literally trim the clip to the next scene, press S trim to the next scene press S, trim to the next scene, and I'm going to press S just here. And now I can delete the rest. So I'm just going to play this part through. So that's what we've got. So of course there's a ways to make it look a lot better. First of all, we can make the background go black and white. So we just need to split it in this uh, section where we want it to go black and white. So we just drag and drop that onto the bottom track. That's now black and white. We can then go to the next clip and instead of making the bottom track go black and white, we'll make the top track go black and white like this. And you can have fun. You can play around with this however you would like to. Of course, you don't even just have to use black and white. You can change the colors completely by messing around with the color balance. So right now I'm just gonna play through very quickly what we've just done. There you go. So it's just a little cool effect like that. So the final thing I'm going to recommend you can do is adding on an overlay under, underneath the cropped video, but on top of the background video. So to do that, first of all, right click and insert a new video track above the bottom track. And you will need some overlays. I've done tutorials on before where to get overlays and what you can do with overlays. However, I'm going to be showing you uh, what you can do with it now. So here's the overlay. I'm going to drag this back to the part where we have um, this video in the background. I'm going to drag this back. So first of all, this is now what we're going to get that as the background, but we don't want that completely. A couple of things you can do first of all is turn down the opacity of this. And I'll just play this through. Another thing you can do with the opacity full, change the compositing mode over here to the side. So you can use things like screen, overlay, hard light, dodge. I recommend just experimenting with all of them and see what works for you. But then you can be super creative with how you use overlays. It's really simple to use. I will be providing a link in the description to one you can download and definitely download them if you haven't used them before. They're great features to have. I'm a rap till I old man, me and hoes don't hold hands Hand in my pants in the mouth on my dick when I slow dance And I blow bands, oh man, oh man, oh man Give, give M's to my fam, winning against me You have no chance, I advance in the smoke plants and hands for stance, step on your whole colony like some ants Look, ho, I'm the champ in my flow Trippy like a lava lamp, kush gang the camp I'm more dope than a bag with a stamp Yeah, I'm amped, ADHD, this I go crazy I rock the nation, someone tell Jay-Z No one can play me, my gun off safety So, everyone just take five steps back The man
Tessas couldn't master me. In rap, I got my master's degree. Massacre on anyone gassing me. Y'all ain't passing me. Uh, who's that's a blub? Jeff Kirsch has to be. In two days, major salary. Dick so good, got your girl burning all the calories. Allergic to bullshit. Bitch, I got bad apples.